In this problem, it says to use the given data to find the best predicted value of the response variable. So what we have to do in these problems where we are trying to make a prediction for our y variable based on the value of x is first of all decide whether there is a strong linear relationship. And if there is a strong linear relationship, we're going to use the regression equation to make that prediction. And if there is not a strong linear relationship, then really the x value doesn't matter, and we're just going to give the mean of the y values. So how do I go about this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the number of pairs of data and the value of alpha, and that tells me what my critical R value is. So I'm going to put my critical R values, positive and negative, on my number line here. So my number line is a number line for the correlation coefficient, and that we know that that has to be between negative 1 and 1. So when we find our critical R values, those are the cutoffs for whether there's a strong relationship or a weak relationship. So we would say there is a strong relationship if the correlation coefficient falls greater than the critical R value, the positive critical R value, so it's closer to positive 1. Or if it's closer to negative 1, there's also a strong relationship. Just in that case, it would be a strong negative relationship. And then if we fall in the middle, then there is a weak or no linear relationship. So in the case where there is a strong relationship, that's where we are using the regression equation and we calculate y hat. So here, anywhere from negative 1 to the negative critical r, we would also use y hat. And then if there is a weak relationship, that's where we use the value of y bar, which is the mean of the y values. And we just say, well, if you want me to predict a value of y, the best thing I can do if there's no linear relationship is to say, what the mean of the y values is. So let's take a look at question 8. Or sorry, question 25. This has 8 pairs of data. Okay. So here I'm going to put in my number line. Move that over. Okay. So in this part, it says 8 pairs of data. So I have 8 pairs of data and alpha equals 0.05. So that means that we are going to have a critical R value of 0 0.707. So I'm going to mark that on my number line. Both positive and negative. And then I look for where the correlation coefficient is falling. And in this case, my correlation coefficient is 0 0.742. So that's going to fall roughly here between 0 0.707 and 1. And that tells me that there is a strong relationship, strong linear relationship. So... For that, I'm going to calculate y hat. And I use the equation 55.8 plus 2.79 times x. And in the problem, it tells us that x is equal to 8. So we're trying to find the value of y based on an x value of 8. And when I calculate that, we get 78.12.
So B would be the correct answer here. Now let's take a look at question 26. It says six pairs of data yield R equals 0.789. And then it gives the rest of the information. So again, I'm going to make a number line and I'm going to put in my critical values. Now, because we only have six pairs of data, that's going to change those critical values. So that's going to be 0.811. Okay. So I'll mark that here. And here on the number line, and we have a correlation coefficient of 0.789. So that correlation coefficient is going to fall between our two critical R values. And that tells me that there's a weak relationship. So this is where we use the mean of the Y values, and they told us that was 19. So 19 is the answer for that problem. And that's how you do those.